Alright everybody, uh, welcome back to another video and hmm, buses. Yep, on the subject of buses. This is the bus mod. Look at my bus driver. He's a bit overweight. But yeah, I'm playing as the bus driver today. We are stubborn folk. And this is the um this is the I think it's based off an ALX 400. I'm not that good with bus models, but um, this is the funny ping noise that my bus makes when the doors are open or it's idle for some reason. And yeah, uh, this is the bus mod. So um, we're trying it out today. We're going to be on the Route 69 around Broker Dukes, and it's going to be quite different to what I usually do. So let's roll out, pick up some people. engine on this bus sounds a bit dodgy because apparently like that's what the buses sound like in real life like I don't know you can just hear the thing struggling doesn't sound healthy does it does it does it does it does it I don't know but yeah I've got some indicator mods in the background like I'm just using the indicators making that little ping noise they do in real life um yeah on the subject of buses um, I don't know, I used to take a bus every day. Like, every day to school or college, just take a bus. And it was quite fun, because like, you'd roll at the top with people, and like, say, it'd be one of the public transport buses, it wouldn't be like a school bus or anything. But on our specific route at that time of day, nearly everyone on the bus was from our college. So, yeah. We would sit at the top of the back, and we'd start having the most random conversations. Some of them were quite vulgar. There'd be like 12 of us, and you know, we just start. I don't know. We people would just give us funny looks, like people that weren't from our school. They'd be like, "What are these weirdos at the back of the bus?" And um, we'd call it the banter bus because you know, we'd obviously have banter and sometimes arguments over pointless stuff. But yeah, I mean, I've been taking one for the last few months every single day, and I've sort of. I don't know, I can't be bothered with buses anymore. They're really... They're really slow and... Oh, if you live outside London or you live on the outer London borough, they're really unreliable. Like, they never arrive on time. And they always take ages to get everywhere. So if you miss one bus, then, you know, you got to wait 30 minutes for the next one or something. I don't know. If you're in central London, you don't have that problem. There's a bus like every four bloody minutes, isn't there? Let's see, I'm Dave the bus driver, and I don't care about red lights. Come on, let Dave through. I'm gonna put this Mockney accent on, sort of like, see how far it goes in this game. <laughs> like, just... Dave the bus driver! Courtesy of Arriva buses. Bit strange. I've like, I've had no sleep. Like, I've had no sleep in 24, more than 24 hours. What is that car on the left? What's the car on the right side of me doing? Why is he on the pavement? What the hell? I don't know. I'm just going past the red light again. I don't care. We picked up our first bunch of people, and these people want to go to the airport, so I'll take the motorway. You get single decker buses as well in some areas, like some of the less popular routes or like the more local routes you usually have a single decker rather than a double decker. In London. And oh, oh that van's going a bit fast. The worst feeling is when you're catching your bus at the bus stop. And you arrive there. One second before the bus leaves, and the bus leaves, and you're just running after it and it's too late. That's terrible. Not what that had to happen to you in the morning when you've got somewhere to be. People will want to get off. They want to get off the airport. Um, this is the first video, so um, I want you guys to give me your suggestions, what you'd like me to do, if you want me to do more bus videos or taxi videos. I'm just trying out the mod today. I'm not really like, making a serious thing out of it. I'm just messing around, you know, trying something different. Different is interesting. Hashtag banter. Come on, come on, come on. Let me through. We want to get off. Oops. Uh oh, I just realised I'm on the wrong side. Damn you, GPS. 
GPS, I swear the GPS told me to take this road and I'm on the wrong side of the road now. I've got to drive to the end and reverse. People that drive buses are really funny. They are odd people, like most of the London bus drivers are like half half asleep or they're half dead. And like they they hardly speak, they just stare at you like they've come out of a zombie zombie apocalypse and like half of the people that take buses look like they've been out of a zombie apocalypse. They're just like have you ever seen Shaun of the Dead? When he was on that bus and he was driving the bus and the people looked like they were um like they were zombies and he expected it and they were actually zombies on the bus and he didn't think any different because you know, that's what some that's what us Londoners are like. You know, like if you don't know us then yeah we look like we're like zombies. But um well when we're commuting anyway. I mean who wants to mess around when you've got somewhere to be? I'd rather just put my headphones on and listen to music than just you know be some I don't I'm contradicting myself now because I know in the early months of college we used to like we used to talk about random shit in our group and stuff. <laughs> but Yeah come on, come on. Get on the bus, get on the bus. Oh, that's a faulty pass, get off, you're not getting on this bus. Look at the poor guy with the beard. I kicked him out my bus. That's the thing, you see, some bus drivers are really nice and some of them are really horrible. Like we've got this one driver that's very mean and she hates everyone from college. Like if you were a teenager she just finds the most ridiculous excuse to pull out and just put her foot down and like she won't pick you up or anything. If you show your college card she just drives off like what a douche. And then there's another bus driver, he's a really funny guy and he, like he whistles while he's driving like <laughs> like that and it's just it's weird like not obviously not central London because you know they're never going to be like that in central London but outside London and you know around London like outer boroughs and stuff people are a bit more laid back. And that's basically what happens. So, um, I could just be whistling right now. And that would pretty much be what, that would pretty much be what being on the bus would be like, you know, you hear the driver whistling or something, if you've got a good driver. And, uh, oh, let's leave the airport. People want to get out of the airport, I presume. Let's indicate right. Yeah, and it's pretty much a mix and grab, you know, most people on buses are generally okay. Sometimes they'll let you in for free. Like, you, they can't be bothered to tell you to get off or get you a new pass or they'll just look at you and they'll go, shh, and then you could just walk upstairs and they'll let you on even if your pass is out of date. And that's amazing when that happens. Just like, just lucky that is. It's usually the time of day, like if they're in a good mood or not. Let's indicate here. Yeah, is this indicating to this road. As I was going to say, this is very interesting driving this vehicle around this map. I've never driven a bus before. Like, it's a very big vehicle. I'm usually, the biggest thing I drive is like a sprinter van. Or like one of those riot trucks and that's about it. But this tall, a vehicle this tall, is just, this is just something different. Also, if you guys want the skin and the bus sounds and like the horns and everything, you can download them on my channel. The last few vids I made before this one, one few of them were the bus mod vids, so uh, you can download them exclusively for YouTube. I did not upload them into other other site, any other sites at the time of making this video. All right, come on, bus stop. Come on. Depends from driver to driver whether you're allowed to take food on board or not. Like I said, the really horrible driver, she will sort of, she won't even tell you politely. She'll just tell you. She'll swear at you. And she'll pick up your bag and get and, and that's 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 your actual food bag. She picks it up and gestures to you to chuck it in the bin and says, "Right, you're gonna piss off this bus, or you're gonna uh, and eat that crap, or you're gonna bin it and get on." And I'm like, "Really? It doesn't even say you're not allowed to eat food on the bus. It just says like, right? I mean, I was carrying hot food. I wasn't gonna eat it to be fair, but you know, like, it doesn't say you're not allowed to carry food on the bus. It just says you're not allowed to eat it." And she's like. Yeah, but I'm telling you, and I was like, yeah, but you're making up the fucking rules, aren't you? And, you know, like, just, there's no arguing with these people. So, pretty much everybody avoids that bus when that driver's on it. Come on, come on the bus. Right, that's it, your fare is, okay, that's fare is good, yep, come on. Get off. Thank you. Yeah, people say thank you a lot as well on buses. And then on some buses they don't. Depends where you are. 
Like if you're on a very popular line, most people can't be bothered. You've got the back doors and no one will pass the driver when they leave. But in the middle of nowhere, they just have front doors. I feel like I'm talking a lot about this subject during this video. I don't think there's really much else to talk about, to be honest. I mean, if you guys need any more suggestions, like maybe you want a crazy bus driver or something? I might drive around like crazy taxi, you know, just mow people down while I'm dropping people off. I don't know. But, but, let's go, let's go, green light, green light, come on, but as I was saying, nice time of day. I don't like how, you see, my Xbox controller, I've, like, I'm using X-Padder and I'm using the POV buttons to indicate left and right, and the problem is that whenever I use those buttons, the radio stations get changed as well, and although, the, although I've dis disabled the radio stations, the writing still comes up and it's so annoying. Like, I just wish there was a program you could use to unmap the buttons and keys. But anyway, um, what is your guys' experiences with buses? I mean, anything interesting, I mean, obviously, you know, there's nothing special about taking a bus, but... If you ever had anything interesting or funny happening, post below in the comments, and um, we'd like to read about what's going on. Oh, this is a bit of a douche move for me. I, sh I parked right next to the bins. Come on. All right, that's it. Yep. Get off. Just love kicking people off my bus. Double decker buses. Tough gong? Is that is that a radio station? Is that actually a word? Wow. Might do a taxi vid soon as well. Depends if you guys want it or not. Still carry on with the normal vids though. Let's drop these people off to their next stop. Oh, we're gonna cross cross island now, are we? Oh my god, it's so bright! Oh no! I was just beeping so no traffic accidentally go into me and I just realised there is no traffic on this road, it's always empty. This bridge is always empty. We are approaching Chinatown. Chinatown. Oh, no we're not. I, I got confused then. I thought that was the other bridge. There's another bridge that takes you from one island to the other. Where are we? Oh, we're turning right. Oh, oops. I'm in the wrong lane. Guess what? I don't care. Just wait for the light to go green. Yes. Let's go. Let's just see. See, this is it. I completely disregarded the traffic rule. I just skipped. I skipped lanes. Like it's genius. Don't you guys think this bus looks a bit like a brick? Can't wait till we start using those 2015 buses. A brand new one in this game, that'd be so cool. Just fly past them in a police car, I like to have them beep at you really loudly. Let's turn left, right. Um, I'm a bit stuck to do as to what to do with this mod because I know I'm just driving around the place. I don't know, do you guys like that? I mean. Do you want me to drive it crazy, or do you want me to like sort of be silly, or do you want me to be sensible? Or, or, I mean, I'm not really an OMSI type of person. I've never played OMSI, and I don't plan to play it either. But um, this is interesting, GTA 4, because you know all the mods are installed, and it just looks a bit like London, so it's fun. But um, yeah, you guys, let me know what you want me to do with the bus mod, and uh, if I ever want to make another video, I will do it. Come on, off the bus. Didn't even say thank you. What a cheeky bugger. 
She tripped over as her own karma. <laughs> Boss is always breaking down. Come on, let's go. But yeah, enlighten me on the comments, guys, on like your experience, your funny experience, interesting experiences with buses, and what you might want me to do with this mod if I'm going to do another video. So, um, let's drop these people off here. And that was really pointless, wasn't it? It was just a bus stop a few meters away from here, and I'm. Now there's a bus stop over here, like, what's the point in getting on a bus? Are you really that lazy that you can't be bothered to walk? I think there's some bus stops like that, in like that in real life, they're just like a few meters away from each other. I will never know. I will never understand these things. But anyway, um, that was a different video, and uh, I hope you en enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, share, comment, subscribe, and check out my Facebook page for the latest updates of my vids, like the police vids and everything, and all those really cool ambulance and paramedic videos. And I will see you soon, so stay tuned.